What's up, Rich Squad guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dominic Rich. And if you're new, make sure you click the subscribe button because Road to 10K is in full effect. Guys, thanks for everyone who newly subscribed. You know, welcome to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you stick around after the World Cup. But Belgium versus England, the 2018 World Cup third place match. This is the second time that these two teams are meeting after they met each other in the group phase and Belgium prevailed one goal to nil. I predicted a Belgium win for this third place match because Belgium is my team. You know, I wasn't really unbiased because, come on, come on, Belgium, they were always going to beat England in this match. England were already deflated after the World Cup did not come home. Gold did not come home, silver did not come home, neither did bronze. Belgium takes the bronze medal to complete their best ever finish at the FIFA World Cup, topping what they did at the 1986 event when they placed fourth. But what a game it was, man. What a freaking game. End-to-end -end stuff. Belgium, they bossed the first half. Mounier scored. In the fourth minute, set up beautifully by Nasser Chadli. That was actually the earliest goal scored by Belgium at the FIFA World Cup. 1-0 Belgium. They really bossed the first half. They bossed the first half. But in the second half, England came out really, really good. They were playing really, really well. And I'm surprised they did not score. I guess you have to give the Belgian defense some credit there. I'm just getting a message from... One of my Belgian friends right now, I guess he's celebrating. It's going to be big celebrations over in Brussels today. But um, the defense, man, the Belgian defense were really, really good. You know, remembering Toby Alderawa stopping that shot off the line from Eric Dyer, who was one of England's best players today. Um, Harry, Mo Harry Maguire was good today, but Harry Kane, I meant to say Harry Kane. Harry Kane, he was isolated for most of the game you know England didn't create too many chances for Harry Kane you know players didn't really you know make any kind of runs to open up space for Harry Kane you know England they were just second best on the day they were just second best on the day let's simply put it that way you know Kevin De Bruyne Eden Hazard Lukaku was just you know tearing up the English defense even though they didn't finish most of their chances Lukaku you know, he has to work on that first touch. Work on that first touch. You know, he had some really, really good chances, but messed it up because of his first touch. You know, um, Yuri Telemans was good today for Belgium. You know, overall, the Belgium team, they were good. And I'm so happy, so happy that Roberto Martinez um, played a very, very strong 11 in this match, you know. I thought he would have given opportunities to some of the, you know, French players like Togan Hazard and, you know, Derek Boyata and, you know, Den Donka and all these guys. Even switch the keeper, give Menule some time. But Roberto Martinez wanted the third place. He wanted a medal. You know, Belgium's best ever World Cup finish. Well deserved, man. Third, 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 third. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. We weren't good enough to win the thing. Let's just put it that way. We weren't good enough to win the thing, but it's a launching pad for the future. We have UEFA Nations League coming up. You have the Euro 2020, 2020 coming up. You know, so it's a really good launching pad for, you know, the Belgian team. Um, Belgium, they scored a second goal to Eden Hazard, man. You know, Belgium has been so dangerous on the counter-attack and they just ripped the English defense apart to put the game to bed. And from then on, Belgium, they just control the game. They just control the game. England, they go home empty-handed. Empty-handed and teary-eyed. But they have to count themselves proud because, you know, no one expected them to get this far at all. Very, very young team. And they did the nation of England proud. Let's just say that. Let's just say that, and I think the media is to be blamed for England not getting further in this tournament because they were really, they were really on the way to the final, for real. They were really on the way to the final, but you know, by just being pompous and braggadocious and you know arrogant, it cost them. It cost them. It just played on the mind of the players. It was a little bit 
too much pressure for them to handle. It's coming home. Not. Not. But Belgium takes third place. You know, um, I really, really appreciate you guys following this channel during the whole World Cup, man. I've made a lot of friends and I just appreciate the love, man. I really appreciate the love. We have the finals coming up tomorrow. France versus Croatia. I predicted a Croatia victory. Guys, I want a new team to win the World Cup. I really do. I want a ninth World Cup winner. It would just write a better story in my opinion. It's a very, very unbiased opinion. You know, it's nothing against France. They played well, but I just want a new World Cup winner. For real, for real, for real. I kind of lost my train of thought there, but well played Belgium, man. Well played. And I'm so looking forward to the team playing um, in the UEFA Nations League and Euro 2020. But um, company, man, he had a great tournament. He had a great tournament. You got to give him um, plaudits for that. You know, working on his fitness. You know, Jan Vertonghen, Toby Alderweireld, Thomas Mounier was sublime today. Nasser Chadley, you know, I hope he recovers from that injury. Injury, Kevin De Bruyne, Eden Hazard, Yuri Telemans, Axel Witzel, unsung hero of the tournament as well for Belgium. Romelu Lukaku has been good, even though he needs to be better. Thomas, not Thomas Mooney, um, Dries Mertens, you know, subs in Dembele, Yannick Carrasco, Marouane Fellaini, Derek, Derek Boyata, Togen Hazard, Castiles. Mooney, um, what's his name again? Munule, you know, Thierry Henry, Roberto Martinez. The team has been really, really good. Big effort by the Red Devils, and they should be proud of this third place finish. For real, for real, for real, for real. I, um, guys, I will continue to support Belgium after this World Cup. I'm no bandwagonist. I will continue to support Belgium after this World Cup. And I really I'm looking forward for the, the future tournaments and World Cup 2022. But guys, let me know your thoughts on this match. You know, it wasn't it wasn't the, you know what I mean, the most exciting, exciting, exciting of matches, but it was a good one. It was a good one. Let's just say that it was a good one, but we are looking forward for the big one tomorrow. I will not be coming to work tomorrow. Definitely not. Calling out tomorrow, calling out sick. I will be home watching that final. For real. For real, for real, for real. I will be home watching that final. But guys, man, I'm babbling. I'm rambling on too much. But um, thank you for watching this video. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys. I'm currently on the job right now. So I got to go. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. Road to 10K is in full effect. Did I say that yet? But... Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know if I miss any big talking points. And until next time, peace out. Rich Squad.